How you doing, bud? Here we are. Service Bay Creek. Not much action. All right, we had a flat tire. Threw a plug in. Hooked up the compressor. It's gonna take us about 11 minutes to get back on track. All right, we're driving down the road trying to go elk hunting. <laughs> See one in the road, got the first one on the road easy. Second one flew off up in a tree, saw the silhouette of a head, took the shot. Two shots, two kills. Dinner's Ooh. good tonight. Dinner is good tonight. Amazing Oregon high country. There's Stefan out there cruising. It's amazing. Look how smoky it is though. I mean, there's a bunch of mountains out there. Isn't it wild? So we're kind of up above it. This is amazing. This is beautiful. We're looking for elk. This is wild. This is amazing and sketchy. Amazing and sketchy. This shit is crazy. What am I doing? Where am I? I'm freaking out right now. There's the liver. I'm super excited about that. This is what elk hunting looks like. Calls on standby, lights for the evening charging, calls, lights, radios charging, driving around looking for signs in the grass or tracks or any evidence in the trees that there is a big herd of elk. All right, when you're driving down the timber roads, this is what you're looking for. A little bit of disturbance in the hillside and you'll see these are big old hoof scrapes and you can see from the shape it's a hoof and from the size it's not a deer so awesome second set of flat tires here and this nice young Gnarly territory through here. 
moving to a different spot that's less burned out. It's a big highway down there. All right, everybody, we are definitely in the right spot. We have uh, some water. We have a lot of elk around us, tons of, tons of activity. So we're gonna get situated and get ready for an afternoon hunt. Go back to the camp and regroup. Camp behind Stephen. All right, plug number three on flat tire number four. All right, it's Sunday, it's our third day out here. First day, we just drove around looking. Second day, we drove around with minimal success, found something late in the night. Uh, today, we hunted in the morning and we found a lot of good sign and now we're going back to um, sit some afternoon spots. Stefan's going down the hill, down the mountain, and I'm going to a wallow that I found uh, with a lot of good sign, very intimate little space. So, uh, hope I'll be able to call one in, see what we can do. All right, I'm a little discouraged, if you must know. I lost the rangefinder that my mom gave me. So, I gotta go fucking find that. Then, while I was looking for it, I set all my shit down right on top of a yellow jacket nest. So I had to do multiple swoops of like sprinting in to get all my shit. I scared off the biggest bull in the world last night. It sounded like a damn big rig horn when he got mad. It's been a long, long 24 hours, but uh, just kind of feeling a little discouraged, but we'll be all right. I see how we do. All right, I'm going to make one more little video before I sign off. The last one was a little bit of a downer, but I've recovered from that. I never did find that thing, and I looked for it. I have this uh, app that I'll show you guys. It's called, um, what's it called? Atlas or something? So, I don't know. That's not, Sorry, that was a bad intro for it. But I have this app, Natural World Atlas, and uh, it's amazing. But it wasn't good enough to help me find the spot where I thought there was a big bull coming out and it was just um, some squirrels dropping nuts so I set my range find I pulled my range finder out got some ranges on some trees set it down didn't have a string on it of course because I was too tired anyways I uh, it's not the worst thing I didn't get hurt which would be the worst thing and I didn't wound a huge bull the massive bull that I saw the bull that barked at me 
yesterday, um, he was the real deal. He had a whole herd of animals. It was not some little spike. So I had a huge, big, old, gnarly bull that sounded like a freight train get really mad at me. That was a good experience. I am really, I, I would have liked to have killed him, but I'm really glad that I didn't wound him. Uh, that would be a bummer. So all in all, it was great. Stefan's awesome, great hunting buddy. Had a great time, we're going back out there. Wish I could uh, show you some kind of blood on my face. Maybe next time. Uh, peace.